More and more accidents on the roadways are being caused by poor car maintenance. A worn tire, bad brakes, and faulty suspension are just a few of the common causes. Joining us this morning is Brian Bowersock with West Escondido Auto. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Glad Thanks for coming here. back. Hey, so this is definitely a case of, hey, pay me now or pay a lot more later in the form of, you know, if a bad part breaks off and then damages other parts on your Correct. car, which has happened to me, or even worse, you get into an accident. Correct, absolutely. Um, the main thing is we're seeing people put off sometimes a lot of safety items right now. Money's really tight, we know, for people. Um, but when you're talking about safety items that could hurt you, or your family, or somebody else on the road, not then it's worth it. Not worth it. Yeah. Then it becomes a serious, serious kind of issue. Um, sometimes people don't realize, um, they think more about the financial things, they don't realize what can actually happen if something fails on an automobile. That's a safety kind of issue. Yeah, and I'm sure you, you see it all the time people coming into the shop and saying, oh, you know what, no, I'll, I'll wait on the brakes. I, you said I have 20% left, okay. I'll take it down. <laughs> I'll take it down to five percent. Not a good idea. Well, not really a good idea. Um, more often, though, we see cars that uh, come in with things like the brakes have gone metal to metal, and people ask, "Can I make it another week?" Or we see cars that come in with a steering component that's almost falling off the vehicle, and it's hard to believe that the car's been driving around like that. Right. And and there's some simple tips that that people need to do. I mean, you just, you need to take it to a good repair shop. Correct. Absolutely. Uh, somebody that you can trust, obviously. We don't want people um, purchasing things they don't need, but uh, when it comes to safety items, and we brought a few of them here with us this morning. And, and this is a common one, I'm sure, that you see all the time. The tread is worn, and, and a lot of people don't realize, you know, when, when, when the tread's worn on the outside and this belt here is showing, Correct. That's, that's not a good thing. Not a good thing. Uh, this tire can actually separate uh, why going Going down the freeway um, could cause issues. You'd lose steering control, um, even on SVUVs, as we've seen in the past, cause the vehicle to flip. Um, you know, hurt you, somebody else on the road, etc. Was this actually one of the tires brought in from uh, from someone at your shop? Um, yes, it was this actually was on a car. That was it? on a car, and as you can wow. see, the belt is actually separating out of it. Um, mm. It doesn't have far to go till the tread actually comes yeah. off. Yeah, of and it. it shouldn't get this far. I mean, you should no, be should. checking the tread on your tires, correct? So you don't get to this point. Okay, really quickly, we got the brakes and and rotors. Here. Brakes, we got a pad that's separating a um, rotor that's undersized. Um, produces a lot of heat, can cause brake uh, fluid to boil, uh, brake pedal fade or failure. What, what do you mean rotors undersized? Um, what happens is the rotors wear along with the brake pads. Mm -hmm. um, they can be resurfaced usually a couple times. There is a minimum on them. You should never use them below that mm -hmm. because what happens, the thinner they get, the less they dissipate heat which can cause heat issues with the brake system. So what's the solution for people? The what solution re truly is um, to get your vehicle into a facility, have it looked up by somebody you trust, um, and somebody that knows what's going on with the vehicle that can give you honest information and tell you, hey, you know, you're good to go on this, don't worry about it, or this is a serious issue and there could be a problem shortly. Besides the tires, brakes, rotors, any other um, you know, common things that people need to watch out for and, and replace when their mechanic says, hey, probably a good idea to replace it? Steering or suspension components, um, this is an inner tie rod in. If one of these was to break the socket, you lose a steering on the car. Um, Things, things like that are very, very important also. And, and you know, how expensive are we talking about to replace that? It doesn't look like it would cost oh, much. Inner, I don't know inner tie rod end uh, with parts and labor, you, 100 to a couple hundred dollars in there somewhere yeah. with alignment and all that. And it's kind of important to be able to steer your car. Very important, yeah. yes. All right, Brian Bowersock with West Escondido Auto. And uh, if you want to take your car to a trusted mechanic, Brian's your guy. There's a the number, 760-741-0071, or you can get a hold of him on the web at westescondidoauto.com. Thanks again for coming, buddy. Glad to be here. Thank All right. you.